Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Noah, if you're new here. I'm 24, I'm entrepreneur. Uh, but basically, I wanna tell you guys kinda of what's going on, what the plan is, because last time I made a video, uh, at least the one, yeah, last time I made a video, I think I was still in the military, just got back to Texas. Life is all right, transitioning okay. I got out by choice, not because I finished my contract. But man, I just wanna show you guys what I'm up to, um, how things are going, and kind of tell you what my plans are going forward, man, because I feel a lot better. Like, I still feel a, a hit to my confidence because I've had so many things go wrong so far. I know I'm early 20s, but it's like when you try something, you want it to work out so bad. Um, and you just don't have the skills, you don't have the knowledge, but again, that's why you're in your 20s, that's why you're young. You try things, you fail. Um, in this case, I don't really view them as failures, even though they feel like it. They feel like it. I'll keep it quick, but I'm gonna do mobile detailing, and then I'm gonna go to the NRVTA and become an, a registered RV technician. Um, what I'm showing here is actually the new truck. Uh, I got a 2003 Nissan Frontier. It's funny, because I had another uh, red Toyota truck, and that's what I was using for detailing before. Um, I just got back from Washington. Uh, literally a couple weeks ago. I got all the stuff ordered. So I have a 100 gallon water tank coming in. I have the pressure washer, the water pump. I got a couple other things. Let me show you. So this one's cool. I got it on Amazon, just like you guys. Buying all my stuff on Amazon for my cheap startup. Um, this one's already 115 uh, volts, so you can just plug it right in. I'm still gonna use electric uh, for my setup. I get some shirts. I'm going to get uh, embroidered just to have you know something on it so I look official and so far what my plan is is I'm just gonna go RV to RV business to business and find some clients let me open the garage really quick yeah last video I made I was talking about how our property has so many projects like so many right but I finished them all got everything completed uh, got another tenant in there so my one house that I have, the rental, it's good. Everything is set. Everything is as squared away as it could be. Now, going forward, now I'm squaring away what I'm gonna do differently this time, what I'm gonna do for the business, how I'm gonna make more money than I did last time, how to buy better equipment, uh, what equipment I'm gonna buy. Like, I'm just thinking about all these different things that are going through my mind so that way I can make money to provide for my family. Because at the end of the day, that's all I wanna do, man. And I wanna be free, so. This is where we're at. CR Spotless just came in. This is the first time I've ever had spotless water. Um, I, was, I wasn't I was cheap, but I was just <sighs> stubborn. I didn't want to buy this because it's 500 bucks, but I bought it this time. I have a 100 foot electric cord reel, which is pretty nice. Again, I'm a big fan of these because you just run it to the outlet and then you wind it up when you're done um, and it's cheap. These reels, if you buy them, um, let's say you have a detailing van, if you have a really official setup, you're gonna have reels for your electric, for your vacuum, for your pressure washer hose, stuff like that. If you're just doing like a simple setup, um, this has worked really well for me because then I plug my water pump in here and then the electric pressure washer in there. I think I only had like a 40 foot last time, so this is gonna be nice, 100 feet. Again, the 50 foot pressure washer hose, the same pressure washer I had last time, my two buckets. I have a bunch of concentrates here. And then I have a pole, my brushes. It's not really set up the way I want it to be because this isn't my garage, but thankfully I have space for this stuff. Um, I'm just gonna have everything I use in one Rubbermaid container, right? So this is a handle. I can put wheel cleaner, degreaser, quick detailer, all-purpose cleaner, a foam cannon or two. Um, I have some ceramic spray. So that's gonna be how I do it. I have simple chemicals. Uh, five, six, six, seven bottles of what I need. And I'll have my container. So I can put this in the back of the truck, this in the back of the truck, in the back seat anyway. And then water buckets, water tank. These will stay here, right? I don't need to take those with because I use this at home, fill out the water tank. Everything else goes in the back of the truck, in the bed. Um, like pressure washer, water tank, water buckets, uh, electric cord reel, that kind of thing. So. Man, it almost feels nerve wracking this time around. I will say, although I've learned a lot, when you have something not work out the way you want it to, it really feels like a kick to the teeth, man. Like it's so frustrating because 
I look back when I was in high school and I was so confident for no reason. Like I had no reason to be confident, but for whatever reason, I was like, dude, I'm going to be a millionaire by the time I'm 21. And so I laugh, me and my friend, we all laugh about kind of what we used to say, what I used to say, because I feel like a huge clown sometimes, but it's just like a little bit of ignorance, a little bit of chip on your shoulder can bring you a lot of false confidence. Um, but after being humbled a couple times, it's like, okay, what am I really doing here? Like, what's my goal actually? Is it to be super rich and, you know, be Dan Bilzerian, like every other 15 year old's dreams, you know, be super rich and have all these models around? No, that's not what I want. That is not, you know, and after being humbled a couple times, it's like, you kind of wisen up as, as to like what your goals are, are really, like, what am I really trying to do here? Uh, cause for a while it was so selfish, but now that I'm married, now that I've been in the military and I've tried different things, I've tried real estate, I have done detailing. And I always come back to like that sense of accomplishment when you do a good day's honest work. Um, and that's really what it comes down to for me. So now that I'm out of the military and I know what's important to me, I feel like it's taken me a while. Um, but now that I know what's important to me, it's like, I want to go full speed ahead towards this thing. But the things that happened in the past, they still feel like you know, they kick in your teeth. They still feel like they pull on your confidence, even though you know for sure what you're doing is probably the right thing. Uh, versus before, I had no idea if I was doing the right thing. I just felt uh, super confident and ready to go. Um, what's funny is on the most popular video I ever posted, I was sleeping on my friend's floor, dude. I was, I had nothing. And I was like, what's up guys? I'm 19. Come with me as I go and do this appointment with my mobile detailing business. And it got so many views and people were like, your confidence is there, dude. Like, how can I have that confidence? I totally get it. I don't know how I had that confidence because I really had nothing. <laughs> but man, all this uh, to be said, it's like, I'm excited, but I feel more nervous than ever. And like f afraid to fail for no reason. Like I feel. Okay, so I do want to say one thing really quick. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm afraid of investing all this money and nothing happens. And then I would have uh, just caused us to go into debt more. And I don't want to see my wife or me have more debt. So I just don't want to make the wrong decision. I'm not afraid. And it's not for no reason. There's a very good reason. You don't want to put your family in debt. That's all I just said. Back to the video. Like I feel afraid to fail. Not in front of YouTube, but like in front of my family. And it's it's weird. It's like this thing I've never had before. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But all I know is I want to be free. And if I can make some videos and someone's feeling the same way that I used to feel, I just want to share what I learned. That's it. But yeah, so you get kicked in the teeth, you get wisened up by your mistake or whatever happened. And then after you realize and become someone who moves forward with this new wisdom, you still have this lack of confidence because of that failure. So like, I'm feeling the residual effects of that. So that's why it's so weird. Um, but anyway, before I go, one of the last things I wanted to say was what I'm gonna do after detailing, sorry about the neighbor's dog, I'm going to be going to the National RV Training Association or academy sorry not associations academy and rvta and i'm gonna go learn to be an rv technician uh the reason i decided to do that uh because my job in the navy was aviation electrician i only did that for like six months half the time i was in i was trying to leave <laughs> so this to me means i'm supporting others who want to go travel others who want to go take their rv on an adventure with their family and go see some new places i want to enable other people to do that and not be burdened by the crappy repairs, the crappy um, production of these RVs, which we all know aren't built with the highest standard. They need to be repaired. And if I could be someone who's there on the spot and I happen to be um, where someone's camping and their AC goes out and it's super hot out here in Texas, I'm gonna feel really good about that. And there's also the financial aspect too. A lot of RV technicians are needed right now. so kind of incentivizes me there the nrvta specifically just gets me on a path towards making money to then go ahead create some systems create a business 
and I want to eventually, possibly, wife permitting, if you're watching this, babe, go move to a different country. So we'll see. Ultimately, I just want to safeguard my own freedom, my family's freedom. We need to get back to the Constitution, and we need to get back to exercising our individual rights as citizens of this country. Otherwise, we're just going to sit and lie down and keep scrolling TikTok and let the government steamroll our rights. Because uh, if this all happens, and I'm an RV technician, I'll just go be American somewhere else. And if that happens to be in another, um, in, in the confines of another country, and I'm somewhere else, I'll be American there, where freedom is, um, how do you want to say, valued, you know, where people don't want communism or surveillance inside their own homes from their own government. I'll go somewhere else, you know. I've kind of already been uh, telling my family, like, hey, get your passport, get some visas. Because uh, ultimately, what this all means when you start a business, when you start something, my goal is to be free. That's all this is.